Hello everyone! This is a tutorial on how to draw digital lines and line art in Clip Studio Paint. I will show you some useful tools to make the line art process both easy and efficient. First, I start with a rough sketch of the image I want to ink. I like to have my sketch as clear as possible to make the inking process quick and easy. Click on the layer color icon in the layer property panel to change the color of the layer containing the sketch. You can also change the color of the layer by clicking on the color box. I recommend using vector layers to ink your line art. Vector layers allow you to edit the lines that you have drawn. To create a new vector layer, click on the new vector layer icon in the layer window. You can also create a new vector layer by going to the layer menu, new layer, vector layer. To ink the line art, select the pen tool. I used a Turner pen for my inking because it creates smooth lines. The G pen and the real G pen are also good choices for inking. Under tool property, you can find a setting called stabilization. This is useful for inking because as you increase stabilization, it will smoothen the lines you draw. However, a high stabilization can also slow down your drawing speed. I like to keep my stabilization around 20 to 30. I start inking on the vector layer. I try to draw for my arm since I find that it produces steadier lines. Don't be afraid to overshoot your lines as you can easily edit these later. The benefit of using vector layers for line art is because lines drawn on vector layers can be easily adjusted and resized without affecting the quality of the image. Lines drawn on a vector layer can be erased with the eraser tool, just like on a raster layer. You can also select the vector eraser tool to erase lines up to the nearest intersection by clicking on the Erase Up to Intersection icon. Now that I have completed inking, I can go back to erase any unnecessary lines with the vector eraser. Using the correct line tool, you can easily edit your lines after you have drawn them. I use the redraw vector line tool to redraw some of the lines. It takes some time to get used to, but it is an extremely useful tool once you get the hang of it. Use the adjust line width subtool to change the line width of existing lines. You can select to thicken or narrow the lines or add a line weight. I run it over the lines that I want to adjust. I use this to narrow the lines of the hair and thicken the lines of the clothes to vary the line weight and add contrast. You can use the Operation tool to easily change the look of the line art. Select the Object sub-tool from the Operation tool. Then select any lines that you want to adjust. You can also select multiple lines at a time by going to Tool Property, clicking on the Operation of Transparent Part, and select the Select Area by Dragging option. The path and control points will be displayed, along with the bounding box. You can move the control points to adjust the shape of any line or use the bounding box to move, scale, or transform the lines. You can change the color of the line art by clicking on the color box beside main color and you can change the overall line width of the line art by adjusting the brush size setting. You can use the brush shape option to change the look of the line art. For example, you can change the look of your line art from pen to pencil or to dotted lines. 
You can also add a brush to the brush shape menu. Select the brush you want to use. Click on the Sub to Detail Palette icon. Select Brush Shape in the menu and click Register to Preset. The brush will be added to the Brush Shape menu and you will be able to use it. Thanks for watching and hope you learned some useful tips for inking and making line art. Please like and subscribe if you liked this video. If you have any questions or want to see another tutorial, please leave a comment below.